my videos is that tangent is really the ratio of sine of L over cosine. Let's just write that out. Tangent of theta is equal to sine of theta over cosine of theta. All right, so let's graph, let's tabulate some of these results here. We got tangent of theta over here, and we got various theta values over here. And let's put some slots in here. We got zero, pi over six, pi over four, pi over three, pi over two, some of our favorite values. Let's evaluate tangent. When we ask what is tangent of zero, tangent of zero, we're really asking what is sine of zero divided by cosine of zero. So we know sine of zero is zero, and cosine of zero is one. So we know this overall thing breaks down to be zero. Okay, so what is it at pi over six? We come over here, we, can't, we can say, what is tangent of pi over six? Well, that's sine of pi over six over cosine of pi over six. We know that this is really one half over root three over two. When you multiply by reciprocals, coming over to this side, I get one half times the reciprocal, two over root three. The bottom becomes one. The twos cancel, and I get one over root three is over here, and I multiply top and bottom by root three over root three to rationalize the denominator, and so I get root three all over three. Does that make sense, guys? From this step to this step, I got one over root three, multiply top and bottom by root three over root three, the top becomes root three, the bottom becomes just a three, okay? This step was just multiplication by reciprocals. I multiply two over root three, divided by two over root three, top and bottom by two over root three. Down here, they cancel. And over here, it becomes these cancel, and I just get that one over root three that we're talking about over here, and then we multiply top and bottom by root three to rationalize it. So we notice that the tangent of pi over six is root three over three. Tangent of pi over four is one. Do I have to say it? Well, I will. So take a look. Tangent of pi over four is equal to sine of pi over four over cosine of pi over four, okay? But sine of pi over four was root two over two, and cosine of pi over four was root two over two. Notice anything divided by itself is one. So. We put a 1 here because tangent of pi over 4 is sine of pi over 4 over cosine of pi over 4. That's root 2 over 2 divided by root 2 over 2. Anything divided by itself is 1. Boom. Then over here, we'll get root 3 over 2 over 1 half. This is equal to the tangent of pi over 3. So when I multiply by reciprocals, I notice that that reduces to just a root 3. And over here, tangent of pi over 2. Tangent of pi over 2. Notice this one is sine of pi over 2 over cosine of pi over 2. But this one is strange. This one is very, very strange. Notice what happens in the denominator. I know you're screaming from home, watching this on your computer, on your phone. You're saying, wait, 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 wait. That's dividing by 0. That's right. You're dividing by zero. That's not allowed. I have videos on why that's not allowed. If you're wondering, I prove it to you why you can't divide by zero. I prove it by a proof by contradiction and some examples. But now that we know that's the truth, we can't divide by zero, what do I put here? I'm going to put undefined or in quotation positive infinity. Why I put quotations? Because it's not really because we don't really divide by zero. But if we could, something infinitely small in the denominator with some finite value in the numerator would give you something pos towards positive infinity. And if we had a negative sign here, it would give us something that's towards negative infinity, okay? So now that I've said that, let's discuss what this means about tangent inverse. So first I'm gonna clear up some real estate here. And let's discuss what the tangent inverse, because notice that tangent of 
theta is equal to an L. L stands for length, okay? Recall, inverse trigonometric functions, 